After creating a race plan, all of the data and metrics for your race are displayed on the race plan details page. When the page initially loads, the power plan chart tab will be displayed above the course map and detailed race intervals under that. In the right column, you will see the race overview containing data such as course, distance, estimated time, average speed, and power. Note the cheat sheet which breaks the course into scenarios with power targets or speed targets for each. Each race plan also comes with various types of files that can be downloaded and used to plan, train, and race. The power plan can be viewed in either distance or time and displays the power targets, course elevation, and estimated speed. As you roll over the chart, notice the popover containing detailed data, the marker on the map showing your position on the course as related to the power plan, and the wind gauge showing relative wind direction. Most of our charts allow for zooming by clicking and dragging across the area you would like to zoom in on. Note that the race overview data to the right is updated based on the zoomed area. Next, let's take a look at the time analysis tab. This tool allows athletes to vary their drag, power, and weight to see the effects on their overall estimated finish time for the race as well as the effects on individual segments. The time analysis tool can be used to help calibrate drag, determine the best spots to take on nutrition, or where it makes sense to attempt a breakaway. As with the power plan chart, you can zoom into specific areas and the race overview data is updated. But in addition, you can adjust the sliders and compare the original data for that section to the adjusted data. Under the weather tab, you can see the advanced weather data for the race, which is specific to both the location on the course and the estimated time of day that you will be at that location. The yaw angles chart shows the percentage of race time you will spend in each yaw angle range. Larger yaw angles indicate crosswind, while smaller angles will be more direct head or tailwind. The yaw angle data can be used to help with race day equipment selection or can be used to support purchasing decisions. The gradients chart shows you the percentage of race time you will spend in each road gradient range based on your goal targets and the terrain on the course. This can be used to help highlight the type of climbs that would be beneficial to simulate in training. The peak power chart shows the mean max average power values across different times for the race model and can be used to help set power limitations. And on the notes tab, you or your coach can add notes specific to this race plan. From the race plan details page, you can also update the plan, duplicate the plan, and compare this race plan to others. For more details and specifics on each of the features mentioned here, please see the FAQ page.